Gemini, how are you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be an Astro Flower reading from the week of the 30th through to the 4th, 5th of February. Um, have you seen your Energy Blueprint reading, which came out just before this video on your aura and your chakras? Great reading, great reading, man. Go and have a look. It's going to tie into, it's going to be very interesting to see how it ties into these cards today. Now, we've also done the monthly readings as well. That's uh, for funny February. That's what we're calling it. Let's just see what's going on um, with your overall energies for this week here. It pans out in all the directions. Um... Yeah, it pans out in all the directions. It's almost like a, a like a like a a lotus a lily pad that is just unfurling in front of you, and it's like creating something that's nice and big and stuff like that. It's creating a really like a shelf, like a. It's imposing itself on every aspect that is around your astro flower. That's quite mad. <laughs> Ace of Cups. This ties into your uh, your tarot, your um, chakra and your aura reading beautifully. Lead with your heart. It, you know, your heart is is setting the 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 tone for this week. There's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, exactly what we went into in the uh, chakra and aura readings. Please go and see that. So whatever you do, make sure you're leading this week, connecting your heart to everything that is around you. Finding your connection, your place in in the universe, as it were. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing, but just using or just connecting in little ways uh, to nature, to humans, to everything that is around you. you know, the planet, the solar system. Let's just see what's going on on your karmic message on your relationship side. Uh, yeah, learning learning to connect with other people in regards to relationships. You're very good at connecting with other people. That's probably not the right word then. You're really good at connecting with other people, but um, it's almost as if like you, you've got this criteria in your head that may be a little bit too stringent, a little bit too precise, difficult for other people to match, as it were. Yeah, socialise, get out there, lead with your heart, enjoy. Um, yeah, I think this is connect with people. This is it, connect, connect, connect. And don't be too, um, you know, don't, just be careful. You don't get any, uh, don't have any expectations. There you go. Uh, that's what it is. Don't have any expectations. Just go out there and kind of go, let's have fun, see what happens. You know, let's see how the dar the Darvine Divine plan is trying to influence this karmic message. There is a reason behind this connection, this reason of repositioning um, with the relationships that are around you. Not just the existing ones, but repositioning of how you, uh, how you explore new relationships that are around you. Yeah, the two of pentacles. Look, we've got an ace, one, and then a two, then a three. It's a real sort of progressional sort of thing. And the divine plan here is sort of like, sort of saying, concentrate on on one thing at a time, first things first. So explore one thing at a time. And it's also sort of saying, you're going to unveil uh, things that might well have been hidden. Um, and you know, uh, a bit of a revelationary sort of thing going on here. I think this is, I think they're trying to reveal a lot within you uh, and it's about you. <coughs> now, this is in the guise. This is the part that I was talking about in the chakra readings that I'm be interesting to see what's going on here. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this. I think, this is where the, the, the guides have taken on the criteria or the expectations a little bit too much. Um, and I think it'd be good to speak to them, uh, if you could, uh, within your meditation. 
there is certain reason about that because you just don't want to mess around, as I said in the other room. You don't want to mess around with things that are not going anywhere. And I think the guides are trying to help with that consciously, uh, trying to help with the connections with um, the coincidences of the world around you so you don't get lost and in things that are not really worth it. This is it. The guides have got lots of those candles, lots of those lights, but she's concentrating on one at a time. And this is where maybe the universe is also encouraging you to do this. So the uh, the thinning of your of your heart chakra at the edges could well be that. It's a way of sorting the chaff from the wheat, cutting out a new course within your relationships around you. Let's just see how the guide's trying to influence the conversation in you. Hey ho, it's like, it doesn't matter. It's okay, it's fine. Okay, so we didn't hit it off, but it's okay. We had a good evening all the same and I learned a lot. That's the sort of attitude that seems to be coming out of this. It's a real, it's a journey that you're going on. It's an, a journey of discovery of your inner desires and your inner heart. Oh, that comes so true. And, you know, that, there was, it's a long winding road around that mountain. But when you get to the top, and I think you're at the top of this mountain, you're starting to radiate. You're starting to, um, yeah, radiate that, that vision that you have and how relationships should be. And I think that's a really good thing. That light that is in the hermit is also the light that the uh, Queen of Cups, a Queen of Wands, is holding in her hand. It's that realization of that one thing, and you, and you have everything apparently, um, Gemini. You have everything. Ah, I love you, Gemini. Really do love you, Gemini. Right. Let's move on to uh, the financial sort of side. Let's see what's going on on your karmic message on your relation on your financial sort of side. There's a new way of doing things, and I think you're finding your feet. So it could be the fact that you, it could be that you've changed jobs and you're finding your feet in that situation, or there is a change in your business and the way you do your business, change in the, maybe in the clientele or the products that are coming through. And it's like you're finding your feet in how you, um, how, how you, how you sort of lead your your path, your material path, in combination with the rest of the world that is around you. Yeah, there is a bit of a leap of faith. It's finding your feet. Um, you know, your your uh, this leap of faith, and I think this leap of faith has been around you for some time. So it may not have happened this week or last week. It may have happened even a month, two months ago for some of you. But whatever it is. As a collective, Gemini, you seem to be sort of, you've got to trust in this leap of faith. You've got to trust in finding your feet. Uh, there seems to be a sort of, uh, they're not putting any pressure on you. The karma's not putting any pressure on you at the moment. It's it's almost sort of saying, just find, yeah, find your feet. Find your way to go forward, okay? Um, and as you do, then, and if you learn the lessons along the way, then that's it. Then that's, you, you know, it's good karma for you. Um, let's just see um, how the divine plan is influencing this karmic message. Okay, this is this is giving a little bit more sort of clarity on it, and they're talking about the way um, lead by example. Uh, and this was, I think, this came up for Virgo actually. I'm not too sure, um, but lead by example. And um, oh, it could have come up with Sagittarius. I don't know. You'd have to check it out if you want to know. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's lead by example and it's, it, it's all based upon sort of, uh, fair exchange and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. It's, it's reaching for your dreams, your ultimate goals of how your, you know, the material world should be for you. You know, don't, it doesn't, you don't have to apply it to the entire world, but you do have to imply it of how you, 
interconnect with the rest of the world. Yes, that is true. And if your ultimate dream is to be the richest person in the world, then be the richest person in the world. You know, there's not a problem with that. Um, it's just being you. Planning too much and holding on too tightly? Is that possible? Let's just see. Maybe you need a clearer vision. Um, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's the case here. The universe is trying to encourage you to be or to uh, aspire to be the ultimate dream workplace or job or business or project or interaction with the physical world i think it's also there is a case where uh there is a case to be said say like um of um within the material world so this could be sort of house cars sort of um acquisitions and stuff like that where you're um you're you're finding your dream role or your dream place within all of that as well there is an aspect to that and there is a bit of a leap of faith so this could be some of you moving house or moving in a new direction, um, which is a bit of a leap of faith. Uh, let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. There's a lot of exchange here. There is almost more that's coming from you than from... So you, it seems like you're investing in the world around you and within regards to the financial wealth. So within your job, your business and stuff like that, you seem to be investing a lot. It's, um, and, it, and I mean investing, I don't mean spending. Um, I really think that there's a lot within you that your guides have been accumulating uh, within your world and it's now creating coincidences for other people, which is bringing other people into your financial world. So it's connecting with other people. It's a very good networking way of doing it. It's very physical. Temperance, it's patient, it's building. When you invest in something, you don't necessarily think, okay, I'm gonna buy this and sell this two minutes later for 20 million quid, $20 million. You know, I bought it for a fiver, bought it for $5 and sold it for 20 million. It's not a case of that. It's patience. It's understanding that it's taken time to accumulate that. So you want to invest in it in a good way. Um, and then I, I think the good way is a way that's going to be beneficial for everybody in the world, uh, it seems like. But it's also a case of timing. It's realising when to put out and when to take back. It's that fair exchange. And that should be within your life, Gemini. Just be careful not to constantly give to the outside world because you do that all the time. You're just too nice sometimes. I'll tell you straight. <laughs> You're just too nice sometimes. So, yeah, I think reaching for your ultimate dreams and ultimate desires needs patience. And you do have that, Gemini. You do have that really in abundance, really. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. Uh, the conversation that is within you, sorry. They're being very scrutinous. They're, they're observing every penny that's going out. They don't mind spending money, but they don't want to just spend it on tat. That's what it seems like here. Very, uh, very acute sort of kind of going, how much are we paying for that? You know, how much is that? Really? I think it's yeah healing. It's giving you, um, it's making you feel that you have that, you know, weight. I think it's this leap of faith and reaching for your dreams and having that patience about it all, and the fact that your guides are giving out and the the fact that you are connecting with everything around you, and this is what the karmic your your conscious um, experience is like for this week. Um, here on this side here, I think it's giving you a healing in the sense that you feel like you have your place. You feel like you have your weight in your job that you're working with or the business that you're in or the project that you're doing or the house that you're buying or the, the car that you're buying and stuff like that. You just feel that it's like it's you and you've got weight and you can apply that weight um, with good measure 
uh, in the world around you. So it can have an effect on other people around you. It is leading by an example. And this is going to make you feel wholesome. It's going to make you feel whole, uh, which uh, we went into as well. And it's going to make you, this is it. If you're leading with your heart, it's going to... It's going to repair your heart incredibly, your your faith within the human world, uh, the human existence, because it has been, you know, had a you know had a shoddy road over the last sort of two or three years, and it's revealed a lot of things in the human race. You're going to go, oh my giddy up, you know, um, and I think this is a way of restoring your faith in the human race at the moment. And restoring your human the faith in the human race means that there needs to be healthy boundaries around you um, and healthy boundaries on everybody else, according to you as well. Um, and this is all to do with this fair exchange uh, sort of scenario. Let's just see um, what comes out at the end of this week and how it leads into funny February next week. Okay, if you imagine like you're going down a river and there's rocks in the river and the river's not actually in rapids, but there's rocks there that stick out the top of the river. You'll find that the water just flows around those rocks. And if you don't really do anything, if you don't steer the boat, the water will take you round the rocks with ease. And I think this is having faith in that leap of faith. I think it's going to be confirmed in the going week after that it's going to be it's going to confirm that um conscious uh, ascension that we're going that you are going through or we are going through uh at the moment uh basically um seems very peaceful and harmonious yeah i think this is it the seven of seven of wands yeah it's um it really does it's all about you know feeling your place feeling at home with who you are um, you know, the seven of wands, she's got that light. It's not in the heart. It's not on the solar plexus either. That is her connection to everything that is around them. And that's what you find as well on the hermit. But that's also a little bit of what you find on the ace of cups. It's all about that sort of light that, that shines within you and shines within everything that is around us and how it connects with everything that is around us. If you're going to want to see this uh, Sunday special, you're going to want to subscribe and click that bell and share this out to all the social media platforms. It would really help us out. There is links in the description below and apparently you can even buy me a cup of coffee. That would be really nice. I drink, I drink tea. I don't really drink a lot of coffee, to be honest. I'm more of a tea man myself. Surprising that coming from the UK. Um, but um, yeah, you can buy me a cup of tea. Thank you very much for your support, Gemini, for this. I really do uh, hope you enjoy your week. Um, in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.